Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're doing a video on React Native and uh, specifically I want to talk about React Navigation, the React Nav Navigation library, uh, the most commonly, commonly used one for navigating your app in React Native. And um, there are a few uh, hot tips I want to bring. A few things I haven't been able to find when I've been searching around in documentation that might be useful for you. If this is your first time working React with the React Navigation in React Native, you will find out that we are gonna initially install a bunch of dependencies here. Um, as you can see down in the terminal here, we have React Navigation, React Navigation Taps, React Native Reanimated, React Native Gesture Handler, and then these two last dependencies, Stack and Screens, okay? And uh, yeah, it might look a bit overwhelming, but um, let's just uh, install those packages there. Um, not every project will need all of them. Like for example, if we don't have bottom tabs in our app, we can, uh, yeah, we don't have to download that tabs uh, dependency. Okay, so when that one is done installing, we also need to uh, do some stuff for our iOS setup. And I'm gonna navigate to the iOS folder and then do pod install. And then just install these dependencies. If you're doing Android, you have to do it a little different probably, or maybe you don't have to do anything at all. I'm not quite sure actually at this moment. Anyway, if we go to our package, just JSON here, we can see uh, all these dependencies here we installed. And as I talked about, the tabs one here may not be needed for your app, but you definitely need the stack uh, navigation and the default core package here, React Navigation. Okay, and all these other ones also are needed. Okay. Uh, in the newest version of React Navigation, they decided to do this uh, uh, thing where they basically split the React Navigation library into smaller libraries. So you don't get this giant library, but you can pick and choose uh, whatever you need for your app. Okay. So um, let's go to our app here and uh, I'm gonna show you guys a few cool things. So the first thing we want to do is to build our routing system, basically. So um, let's start importing things. So first thing we want to import is the create app container from react navigation okay and let's just import a create stack navigator from react navigation stack okay these two are core building blocks when you're working with react navigation okay so let's try to um, just make a very simple uh, navigation app to begin with here. So uh, let's just do const home and then do create stack navigator. And here we can pass in an object here with our different screens for our first stack navigator. Okay. So usually what you want to do is have a folder. Let's just make a folder here in the root called screens and add a few screens. So I'm going to add a home screen where I'm just going to render some text here where it says home. And let's make a profile screen, which is just going to render some text where it says profile like this. Okay. Now we have two screens. Now we can add them in here. So the first screen, the first key I'm going to add to this, uh, object here is the home key and here I'm going to add another um, object and I'm going to pass in the attribute key or screen even and here I'm going to put in my home component so let's import that home from screens home okay okay like that that should be cool now, here we have our first screen. Now, what you always want to do with 
whatever type of navigation you're doing is to wrap your outer most outer stack navigator in a create app container up here okay so let's just call it navigation and then do create app container and then wrap our home stack in there okay now what we can do is we can wrap our navigation down here like that now now i want to actually run this just to give you guys a like kind of like a initial look of how this should be all right here we go here's our home screen this is the very bare bone very simple navigation now usually in an app or well depends but in many cases if your app is a little big it's very neat to have some kind of bottom navigate tap navigator going on like some bottom navigation and um, to make that we can um, import this create bottom tab navigator from react navigation tabs remember one of the packages we installed at the beginning and um, to create that it's actually very it's actually the same um, same stuff we pass in here so to our bottom tab navigator we can uh, put in uh, the home screen once again or actually we can just reference the home stack navigator up here then we can make uh, a, a another stack or we can even just pass it another screen here so let's pass in the key profile and then pass in the profile screen here okay and we remember to import it yeah now if we say that nothing will happen because we didn't wrap our app in the outermost uh, tab navigator or navigator even which would be uh, this bottom navigator now since we uh, nest our home stack inside this one so let's put bottom in here and boom we have our tabs here okay we have our tabs we can see that the profile here is going a little out of the picture and that is because we don't have a header here for our profile but we do get it for our home stack because we create a stack navigator here and that creates a header as well okay if I went in here and I uh, oh, if I went in here and added navigation options and then added header null we would get the same result here see when well, this stuff is kind of outside the screen uh, we can fix that problem real quickly because it's easier for us to see uh, what screen we're on okay I got a little funny import there okay so let's uh, but what if you want to do something like let's say something like Airbnb where you have two bottom tabs going on down here like you have your customer bottom tabs then you have the uh, host bottom tabs what do you do then how do you how do you make it happen in here well it's actually not too too bad it's kind of easy when you know how it works so let's make a copy here of create bottom tab navigator let's make a number two here and let's try to separate these not just copy paste them so in here, in our navigation options, we can pass a bunch of stuff in here, but let's just add a new title and say bottom tabs to here, okay? Now, now we have this bottom navigator here, but we need to kind of connect these two together. We need to nest them in something. And what should we nest it in? Well, a good idea would be a stack navigator, actually, a stack navigator like this one and so let's make another one let's just call it root create stack navigator and then we just pass in our two bottom navigators here okay like this so now in our create app container we pass in root instead like that and this is actually the solution but we can't really 
visualize it too well here. So let me show you guys. So in our home uh, page here, we can make a button with a title that says go to bottom tabs two. We're gonna make an unpress here. Navigation, thank you for auto importing. That navigate to bottom tabs two. Okay. Like this. And we need to remember to import button from React Native. Okay. And we need to remember to expose our navigation prop that gets passed down from our navigator component. Okay. So now it says go to bottom tabs too. So if you go back to app, you need to make sure that is the key. It's not the key right now. As you can see, it says just bottom two here. That is the key we are using. Um, just a reminder, I'm doing a kind of a shorthand here uh, because I'm just passing in the key. But since it's, I'm using ES6, it's just basically doing this. Because they have the same name, I'm allowed to just do like that. Just in case there's a little bit of fusion here. Okay, so let's go back to our home here and let's just put in home one two here like this okay so now from our tab first uh, bottom tab navigator here we can actually go to number two here just like this okay so now we are on a different page and um, we can go back if you want and forward okay cool that's how you would go about it if you want to do something like this where you have two bottom tab navigators okay now another thing I want to show is a tip if you have a screen that is presented in multiple stack navigators so say I'm on the home screen here I can access a page and that page can also be accessed in profile how do I manage that in here without it messing up okay so let's make another screen let's just call it info and let's just render a text in here with info okay now in our app.js so if i'm gonna access info okay i can in my home stack i can add info and I can do the shorthand once again here if I want to. Now I need to make sure I import it. Import info from screens info. Okay. Now let's uh, make a button so we can actually navigate there. And to do that, I can just copy paste this button, change the title, and change my key here to info. Okay, that should work. Now I'm going to do the same, actually I'm going to copy paste this button and go to my profile page, make the same button, make sure I import my button here and make sure I expose the navigation prop here. Okay. Now if I go to profile and I click in for page, this looks pretty weird, right? But this is not the important part. We're just getting some extra headers because we have nested stack navigators. Now, if I press back, I end up on the home stack. Why is that? I was on the profile page. I requested the info page here. And now I'm on the back on the home stack. The reason is that I added this info uh, page under the home stack. So if I want to be able to access that inside the profile page without uh, messing up the stack, so to say, like staying inside uh, this area, I need to copy this. And I can create a function that I can make a reference to the same object. I need to, uh, I need to make duplicate code, actually. So, 
right now in our bottom here we just have a profile with a screen right so what I would like to do in this case is to create a profile stack because I have multiple screens right so let's make a new constant create stack navigator put in this profile screen as before and then add an additional info here I'm just gonna make the shorthand once again just because it's uh, shorter <laughs> basically okay save that now if I'm in the profile stack now and I press info page I get onto the info page here I can go back I'm still in the profile stack I'm still in this area of the app brilliant now you might have noticed we have multiple headers here and the reason is up in our home stack we added the navigation options null here header null uh, which got rid of that but now we are down here so we have this annoying header now what we can do uh, to counter that is since uh, this gets a little repetitive writing this uh, one every time we can actually go into the second parameter of create stack navigator and add a default navigation options and here we can have head on all so if I go to the profile page or profile stack here on the profile screen the extra header is gone if I click info page it's also gone but my back button is also gone then because of it because of setting header to null so I would have to implement uh, my own back button then okay um yeah this was just a few hot tips i uh, hope you guys learned something and uh if you did great okay guys see you in the next video